Right, okay, so I'm going to play the recording. See, in this part of the test, you'll hear two different extracts. In each extract, you'll hear health professionals talking about aspects of their work. For questions 31 to 42, choose the answer A, B or C, which fits best according to what you hear. Complete your answers as you listen. Now look at extract one. Extract one, questions 31 to 36. You hear an interview with a cardiologist called Dr. Jack Robson, who's an expert on Chagas disease. You now have 90 seconds to read questions 31 to 36. So hopefully everyone has had a chance to read um, the questions. Obviously, it would be easier in the actual exam because you'd have a piece of paper in front of you. OK, but we're doing the best we can. All right. So now that you've had a chance to read the questions, um, what you need. So when you were reading the questions in the actual exam, what you would need to be doing would be to underline keywords um, both in the question and in the possible answers. And when I see, say keywords, I mean, you know, the not the ifs, ands, and buts, not the small grammar words, but for example, here you might underline social groups, um, and here you might underline neglected disease. You, you wouldn't underline shagas because that's the, the whole topic of the talk. Um, so you've got to listen out for this um, key, key phrase here, neglected disease, um, and then maybe social groups. Um, don't realize they're infected, and then um, severe, its impact is severe, small number of cases, something like that. So just you're focusing in on um, the keywords and you're listening out for them because that will help you to follow where you'll follow the speech and, and work out where you're going to find the answers. Okay. So hopefully everyone is ready. I'm going to play at least the beginning of the recording. Apologies for the ticking clock in the background. Um, that's in my kitchen, um, <laughs> but uh, it's it's ticking away there. It should be fine when the recording is playing. Today we're talking to Dr. Jack Robson, a cardiologist and Chagas disease specialist in the USA. Dr. Robson, what is Chagas disease, and why is it referred to as a neglected disease? Chagas is caused by a parasite called Trypanosoma cruzi. Most sufferers become infected when they're bitten by an insect, commonly known as the kissing bug, which carries the parasite. Right. People often don't realize they've been bitten, and during the initial phase of the infection, symptoms are normally mild or absent. Okay. Seventy percent of those infected never develop complications. For the other 30 percent, the disease tends to remain silent for a long time, often 30 years but it eventually enters a chronic phase characterized by serious cardiac, digestive system, and neurological disorders. About 7 million people worldwide are thought to have Chagas, but it attracts relatively little publicity or funding for research. This indifference is largely down to it being primarily a disease of marginalized communities in Latin America where it's endemic. Mm. You need resources to force significant action. Right, I see. And are there any concerns in the USA about Chagas? Yeah. Okay. So let's actually do the first one as an example. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to say what you think the answer would be. Put your answers in the chat box. Okay. So a lot of people are saying B. Okay. Uh, well, I have bad news. It's actually A. <laughs> Um, and uh, Panita has said, has given the right answer, um, and also Rahele. Um, so I'm, I'm actually, because everyone, a lot of people have said B, I'm going to show you why it's not B. And in the listening test, this is actually quite a good point. Um, in the listening test, they often have what we call a, a distractor, which is uh, when they put in some information that makes you think, oh, it's that answer. And then you put down that answer, which everyone has done, they've put down B. And then you sort of stop listening for the correct answer. So I'm going to show you both the distractor and um, the actual correct answer. So I'm just going to share my other screen. Okay, so this is the tape script. 
Uh, I will make it bigger. So the answer is, the answer should be um, A, because of the social groups it mainly affects. Actually, you can't see both screens. Um, so I'm just going to write down those answers because of the social groups it affects. And what did everyone say? Because patients often don't realize they're affected. Okay, they're infected. Okay, so I'm just going to make this tape script, script bigger. Okay, so this is his actual words. Hopefully everyone can see. Um, now, the correct answer is, uh, starts from the middle of this paragraph. Um, okay, so if we look here, um, it says, this indifference is largely down to it being primarily a disease of marginalized communities in Latin America where it's an endemic. Um, so if you remember, um, uh, option A said because of the social groups it affects. Okay, and here, so it's a neglected disease. So this indifference is um, because of the um, marginalized communities. So those are, that's talking about the social groups. That is the reason for the indifference. Um, and a lot of people said that people often don't know they've been infected. That is true. He did say that. If you look up here, people often don't realize they've been bitten. Um, but it, that is not the reason for it being a neglected disease. So um, here it also says it attracts relatively little publicity or funding for research, this indifference. So that's the whole idea of it being a neglected disease. So this is a good example of a distractor up here. You stop listening, you think it's B, but actually you've got to keep listening, it's A. Okay, hopefully that has clarified things for you.